Why would anyone read your copy or watch your video if it's Bo Ho 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 Rang? Have a happy new year, by the way. <laughs> the answer? There is none. Instead, you want it to grab attention, which is exactly what a flipped chair does. Here is an example. If you enter the classroom with 10 chairs and tables in perfect order, but one chair was flipped in the middle of the room, wouldn't you wonder how it got there? However, if it was in perfect order, like the others, would you even notice it? I guess we both know the answer. Okay, so how may we use this flipped chair effect to get content views? First, we should know what are the elements that we control in our first meeting with the audience, and then apply it in one or more of those elements. For YouTube, the elements may include the headline, thumbnail, and subheadline, usually. I'll focus on the headline, for example. A perfectly ordered headline might be Five steps to improve your content. Although it does provide a benefit, there is nothing outstanding about it. So, instead, in this video, I spiced it up with writing Flip a chair, get action in your content. Now, it's a bit more outstanding, in my opinion. If we take the last video, for example, I could add some outstanding nonsense by writing Tum 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 Four Tested Advertising Methods by John Caples. For your information, Tom stands for Tested Advertising Methods. Yes, the second part remains sort of boring. But not really, because it promises a benefit. I'll elaborate about this in the next fundamental. But first, an exercise. In your currently in production content piece, what metaphoric chair may you flip in its headline to get attention for your content? Ready? You may pause the video and answer the question now. When answering, you may use the workbook below the video or any other place, whichever suits you best. Fundamental one is flipping chairs gets attention. Flipping chairs alone may help get momentary attention, but to get your content read, we also need a benefit. A benefit answers the audience's question of what's in it for me. In this video's headline, it's described as get action in your content which is also probably why you clicked it. Now, the benefit was also used to continue creating desire by the video's first few sentences. By asking, why would anyone read your copy or watch your video if it's bo ho 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 ring, I wanted to show that the content's goal is to answer it, and that this is why you should continue watching. This is exactly what the second fundamental is about. Bring your audience to desire the outcome that the product can possibly give them. Now, it's your turn. But, before you begin, if you still don't have your audience defined, you may want to download the Define Target Audience in about 5 minutes, fillable PDF, in the description. Because if you don't know who they are, you will not know what they want. After you have them defined, here's my question in two parts to you. 1. Which true problem of your audience are you aiming to solve in your content piece that's currently in production? 2. How would you make it clear in the headline and opening paragraph? If you wish, a list of 30 common desires people want to achieve 
is included in the description as an aid for answering. Ready? You may pause the video and answer the question now. You may use the workbook below the video or any other place, whichever suits you best. Fundamental 2 is arouse people's desires. Emotion. Victor O. Schwab's book is based on 44 years of marketing experience and high achievements in the field. The book makes it a point to transfer the most of this experience to its readers. Now, in addition to this awesomeness, I went through the pains to extract five exercises for why O you you the content creator in the five fundamentals fillable workbook this process is now already lasting two months and counting as i say these words now those are two logical explanations of quote why my offer should work logical explanations are essential on top of the emotional of the previous fundamental to sum up why it is so Victor quotes Clyde Bedell where he says, The head certainly can't go along and concur with the heart without some reasons. So, here's my question to you. Why should your current contents offer work for your audience? Elements to consider in your answer. 1. What makes you qualified to deliver the content? 2. Names of experts in your field that endorse what you're saying or your product. 3. Constantly increasing views. You may find a more elaborated list in a link in the description. Ready? You may pause the video now and answer the question. You may use the workbook below the video or any other place. Whichever suits you best. Fundamental 3 is support your claims with hard facts. Logic. The fourth step of a good advertisement serves as a sort of a strong and short summary, which really gets the reader to vision how the product may apply in his own real life. It comes before the call to action and is often not given enough significance by copywriters according to Victor. But, if included, it may make all the difference between a sale and no sale. Here's one way to use it for this content piece's call to action in the 5 Fundamentals Fillable Workbook PDF. After presenting the attention, desire and proof elements, it may sound like this. Taking all the above into account, can you imagine how if you use this workbook and apply its lessons, you start presenting your offer better and increase your chances of PDF downloads and email subscribers dramatically? I definitely can. That's why I believe you should give the 5 Fundamentals Fillable Workbook a try today. Dot, dot, dot. Now it's your turn. In your current content piece. How would you make a short summary of the offered service, product, or content? A summary that helps the audience really grasp how the product could affect their lives. You may pause the video now and write your answer to this question in the workbook or any other place, whichever suits you best. Fundamental 4 is a strong summary before calling to action. Henry, how come you never buy any bolts from me? An old acquaintance asked Henry Ford Sr. Heck, Joe, Mr. Ford replied. You never asked me. Asking for action is essential if you want to get it. But being clear and specific is too. To explain what I mean, consider the following situation. 
Did you ever get a visit by a friend? And when leaving, he said something like, This visit was amazing. You should come visit me sometime, too. There's no hook. He didn't say, come visit me sometime, too. How does 8.30 p.m. Tuesday sound to you? Sometime is closer to no time. The same is true with calls to action. You shouldn't leave the prospects to guess what you want them to do. Specifically, ask for it. Or else, they most probably won't. Trust me, they have enough things fighting for their attention in order for them to be distracted before they go look for your hidden or unclear action. For example, in the end of this video, I ask for one specific action. The download of a workbook. Then, I talk about how and when exactly I believe it is best to use it. Which is either now or instead of your next theory learning session. Now here's my question in two parts to you. 1. What will your current content pieces call to action be? 2. How will you make it specific and clear? You may pause the video now and answer the question. Either in the workbook or any other place. Whichever suits you best. Fundamental 5 is ask for a clear, specific action. So, to sum it all up, if you want to get action in your content, first, Grab attention by flipping some chairs, um, standing out. Second, create desire, meaning state the benefits of using the product. Third, give logical proof that the product will work by explaining, quote, why it can fulfill the desires of the audience. Fourth, briefly summarize the key reasons to get your product. And create a vision of its use in the audience's real life before the final call to action. Fifth, state what exactly your offer is, when and how to use it. Now, if, by chance, you still haven't answered the questions in the video and believe that the five fundamentals, if applied, may help increase your PDF downloads and leads, then, to make application simple for you, the 5 Fundamentals Fillable Workbook is, of course, available in the description. Remember, the best time to begin improving your content was yesterday. The second best time is T-O-D-A-Y. Today. So, if you still haven't answered the questions in the summary, I urge you to download the workbook now and answer as many of its questions now. Or, if you're running out of your time box to time, to do it instead of your next theory learning session. Because what will one more theory lesson do for you if you never get down to practice? That's it. Hope you found out something or some five things that were new today. Stay awesome and see ya in the next videos, improvementers. Bye bye.